Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you Transformer Studios series Forager Class, one movie movie Thrust. So, before we begin, don't forget like and subscribe and turn on, turn on notifications, miss no uploads, and thumbs up if you enjoy. So with that all out of the way, let's begin. So, start off with the packaging. Here it is, see a nice image of Thrust, right there in robot mode. See, he's from Transformers Bumblebee. Transformers on this side of the box, nice image of Thrust. On the opposite side of the box, nice back image of Thrust. And on the back of the box, you can see it both in a robot mode and in a cyber turning jet form. That's it for the packaging. So, here we have Thrust in his book mode and, yeah, another Seeker. Well, a Conehead Seeker, but still. Another one. So, yeah. Take a good look. Which is basically just a repaint and a slight remold of the Bumblebee movie Starscream. But hey, I don't care. I love that design. It's good to have another. You can see the, see the green on here and the purp purple for the Decepticon logo is they're like more like shaded in it. Yeah. And this side. Yeah. So yeah. So for slash comparisons. Here he is with my previous review. It's the series Hot God. Or World War II Hot Rod. Here he is with. Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Optimus. Here he is with Bumblebee Movie B127. And lastly, here he is with Bumblebee Movie. Huh. Bumblebee movie Starscream. So yeah. So yeah, see this one is I got I got more like shaded into it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So that. So now let's get down to transformation. So, uh, so the transformation is basically the, the exact same as as Starstream. So move this gun, pull it side. So I'm gonna go for this pretty fast because it's the same transformation as Starstream. So yeah, let's begin. So bring on his arms. Bring. Bring up the wings, go to this round, tap it in, it around, tap it in, then <laughs> come here, tap, split that, tap this section, bring it down, these panels around, tap it in. Rotate. Oh, rotate the head around. One words. Here. Tap. So, and I know I, I did that. Did those steps out of order, but hey, still gets the job done. So here, pull that up. Rotate. Bring down the feet. Tap it down. Bring all that in. Like so. 
bring this up, tab, add in, rotate, extend that, the same, bam, 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 which on mine this does not want to stay, but I don't care. Rotate. Bring up. And. Then, you know, come here. And actually, um, this actually comes out like, really easily. Like, wow. Because of it, because of the stream. It. It was kind of a kind of a pain. Okay, then uh, there you have thrust in his row bot mode. All right, so you can see it's basically a green version of Sushin, but with a nose cone because he's a cone head seeker. Yeah, so pretty much not really much to say. It's just a really paint. Site room mode. So yeah, so let's look at new articulations. Both articulation wise, his head can't tell if it's on a ball joint, but it can look up. He can look up that far. He can't really look down. He can't really move side to side. His arms can do almost full 360. His wings, but it's pretty much gonna be the same as the stream, pretty much. So. Rotation, bend, his hand cone and go inwards. There is... Wait. Nope, there is a waist swivel. So you can go up that far, they can go back only that far to, to the wings. Rotation, bend, ankle piv. Yeah. So yeah, for, for the guns, basically the same things. You just plug it. Right into the hand. And yeah. So for size comparison, here he is with my previous review. So you see Ares World War II Hot Rod. Yep, expand. Here he is next to Bumblebee Movie Optimus. Here he is with B127. And lastly, here he is with Bumblebee Movie Star Scream. Oh no. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. And one more thing. One more. For the guns. Yeah, pretty much the same exact thing. But this one's blue and this one's green. So yeah. Now, last thing to show off is to include a background stand. Which is basically the same thing that comes with Star Scream. And B one and B one twenty seven. It is a Sabatron battle scene, and you can just place them on top. And oh no, finds damage. Eh, I don't care. But yeah, you can place them right there. So yeah, now let's get back down to transformation. 
So first thing you want to do is fold in his hands. Bring that piece down. Bring these down. From here to the wings. And tab them. Bring it out. Rotate. Push all that in. Do the same. Tab. Rotate. Push it all in. Now, just raise up his arms. Rotate them around. So have it like that. Now come here, down to his legs, split them, put his feet inside, bring it up, and rotate. A little bit the same, bring all this out, bring his foot inside, bring that up, I'll flip that out, flip that around, rotate it. Then uh, now what you want to do is get it to the head, take this, bring it like that. Now you just want to take the whole thing, rotate it all the way around. Then I want to take two legs and tab them together. Then after that, come here, split these two. Bring this up, that tabs into place, Recon reconnect those, bring the wings down for now, because now what you want to do here, and you just tab the two halves, right, yeah, just want to tab everything in like this, then now what we can do, we can raise up Wings again. So now for down here. Just tab this. I like to just bring it like that and tab it. And bring it inwards. Do the same. Tab. And we can just bring the whole thing in his arms. Like that. Now we can just bring the pieces inwards. Now we can just flip out these panels and bring these around. Then we can take the gun, place it in here, bring it down. It. And there you have Thrust, back in a Cybertronian jet form. Well, final thoughts about this figure? She's a really good figure. I know, uh, since it's a repaint and a slight remold of Bumblebee Movie Star Stream, but I still really love that figure, so, yeah. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!